In this video, I'll show you how to use the Bitwig template for Lemur to wirelessly control Bitwig Studio from an iPad. Lemur is an application for iOS and Android that lets you design and program your own MIDI and OSC controller interfaces. And to use the Bitwig template with Lemur, you'll need to go to the line.net website and from their user library, you can download the Bitwig template. Once you've got the Bitwig template downloaded onto your, to your computer, you can connect your iPad and via iTunes file sharing, you can copy the template file over to uh, the Lemur application on your iPad. In addition to the Bitwig template for Lemur, you need to get a Lemur for Bitwig controller script for Bitwig Studio. This will enable Bitwig Studio to receive OSC messages over a network um, from your iPad, uh, which can then be used to control um, behaviors in Bitwig Studio. So once you've got the template and the controller script installed, you can go to the options view in Bitwig Studio, which we'll do now, and you can go to the controllers tab and under add controller manually, there'll be an entry called line and under line, you'll be able to add the lemur controller. Once you've done that, you'll see the lemur controller under your set of controllers and you'll want to click this little gear icon to display the configuration settings for the script which you can see here there are a couple of configuration parameters that you need to set up one is the host ip address of your ipad which will be whatever the ip of your ipad is on your home network you also need to configure the port which will be 8,000. If you want to minimize latency, you should use an ad hoc network so that your iPad is connected to your laptop with no networking gear in between. For me, I'm using both my iPad and my MacBook just on my home wireless network. The latency is reasonable for me and it's easier to do, so that's how I'm using it. But if you want to minimize latency, you should go with the ad hoc network. And in addition to the script settings, you'll also want to select a MIDI input to use for note input so that the OSC messages sent from your iPad for notes will be received by the controller script. Um, and for note messages, the OSC script will then convert those OSC messages into MIDI events so that you can control your instruments in Bitwig. Okay, now that that uh, is all set up, we can use the Lemur template in Bitwig Studio. So I'm going to launch Lemur on my iPad and I'll just show you some of the features of the template. Here's the main view of the template. And so you can see the master transport controls at the top. Um, if I update the loop toggle in the template, you can see that the state of the loop toggle changes in Bitwig Studio. Um, we can turn it off again. Um, and so the uh, interactions are bi-directional here. And so changes that we make in Bitwig Studio are reflected in the template and vice versa. In addition to the master transport sections, we have access to all of our track settings. So we can navigate between the different tracks of our project. We can change volume levels. You can see that I'm changing the volume of track one in the template, and you can see that the volume is being adjusted in Bitwig as well. We can record arm, disarm our tracks, solo, mute, um, and so on. So that's the first and the main view of the Bitwig template in Lemur. The second view gives us access to our devices. And so from here, we can navigate to different devices in our device chains. Um, and by clicking this device button, I can pull up the uh, UI for this VST plugin that I've got here. Um, you can pull up your macros and your effect sends um, and navigate through different presets. So a bunch of useful stuff that you can do with devices on this view of the template. And moving along to the third view of the template, we get access to a clip launcher. Um, and from here, we can um, pull up some grid controls that give us left, right, up, down arrows that we can use to navigate through our grid. We get access to a mixer where, again, we can control uh, volume levels um, for our tracks. Um, and then we've got master transport controls here. So I'll play a few things here just to demo um, how this works. Um, let me turn a couple of tracks off. And let's play this. Okay, now let me try launching three clips. So we 
just launched a percussion clip and two guitar clips. Um, and so there that kind of gives you an idea for how the um, clip launcher UI works. Let me stop that um, and go to the next view, which is a pad uh, interface. So let me select one of our uh, percussion uh, tracks and go back to the pad interface here and So this uh, will let us control our drum sounds using a pads interface. Um, let me go to the next view. Let me select one of the synth tracks here um, and go to the keyboard view. And so this keyboard view, it's a pretty basic, um, you know, but full featured keyboard. It lets you transpose to different octaves, access mod wheel, pitch bend, and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, pretty simple, but still useful um, if you're just kind of traveling with your, your iPad and you want a basic controller. Okay, and then the last view gives us another um, pad uh, interface, as well as some XY pads for sending CC numbers. Um, so let me just play a couple of notes on the pads. Okay, so there you have it. That's how to use the Bitwig template for Lemur to wirelessly control Bitwig Studio from an iPad. Thanks for watching.